are you bored of seeing the same colors and the same design and the same everything when you're looking at living rooms are you looking for something out of the box and really cool and really different so that you can get inspired and make your living room look like that that too well what if i tell you i'm going to be sharing with you one of the most amazing living rooms that we've designed and this is going to be really cool because i'm going to be giving you a quick tour of the entire space this living room is part of our entire four bhk but in this living room i'm going to be sharing with you what colors we've used what materials we've used how we've selected the furniture and so much more so if you're as excited as i am and you cannot wait to see this beautiful living room then stay tuned till the end of the video cuz i'm going to be sharing with you all of the secrets behind it too Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tani Sixeria, the founder and CEO of Little Miss Designer, a luxury interior design firm. If you're here to find out about the tips, tricks, and hacks, and anything to do with interior design, then you're at the right place. While I'm going to be giving you a quick tour of this entire living room, these are some of the points that I'm going to be covering. One, the space layout. Two, the materials and color combination. Three, the lighting and fall ceiling. And four, the styling. I really hope you like it. One space layout. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this living room is part of a four BHK. So, as soon as you enter from the main door, you go straight into a long passage. On the left, you have the living room, and on the right, you have the dining room. So, for the living room, what we've done is we've given you a beautiful sofa seating. on the back of one of the walls and right in front of that we've given you a tv unit so what happened is we've created a lot of space between the tv unit and the seating area so that if anyone wants to come and go through that passage space is really open and nice and this passage space actually opens to beautiful windows on the left so that if someone wants to go down and just have a cup of tea or just enjoy the view there is ample of space to walk around In this layout, what we've done is we've given you a beautiful sofa and given you a nice armchair with center tables. And the TV unit being right in front also has a lot of storage. So being a very open space layout, this was absolutely amazing to start off with. Two materials and color combination. Now throughout the living room, what we've done is we've used color combinations of blue, gray, offal, and cream all across. Now what we've done is, if you remember sixty thirty ten rule, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to leave a video link below in the description so you can have a look. But basically, using that rule, I've actually made sure that I use very little of the blue and maximum of the grey and beige throughout the space. So how we've done this is, we've used the blue beautifully onto the curtains, which have really been one of the highlighter points of this entire living room. The curtains were very beautiful, and along with that, we've also given you white shears. The white shears being very translucent, let a lot of sunlight come in, which looked really nice. And this sunlight, which came in through those beautiful large windows, focused really well onto the flooring. If you see for the flooring, what we've done is we've kept it really simple. We selected a really nice beige-ish looking marble. This Italian marble looked really stunning when the sunlight fell onto it. And what we've done is for the color grey, we've used it in a couple of places. We've actually used it on the sofa and with the matching highlighter wall behind it, and also under the ceiling. How many of you have used colored ceilings? I know you're very afraid to do this, but check out this video and tell me if you're not convinced and you don't want to try. And of course, the lighting, which I'll talk about later, will explain how we've actually balanced out the entire color combination. And as for the last color, white. We've used it on the TV unit so that it had some little color going matching with all the walls. If you see, pretty much all the wall except for that one highlighter wall is a nice off-white color, morning glory shade from Asian Paints, and the same color was used for the TV unit so that it merged well with it. If you see the center tables, we have used a nice laminate, and this laminate was a light wood color, so it blended really well with the flooring. So the gray which we have used for the sofa is in a leather material, or rather, should I say, leather right, which is basically a material that looks just exactly like leather, but it doesn't harm harm any animals. And then the next thing what we have done is. 
for the side tables we have used a beautiful green lamp finish laminate it was a nice simple light wood finish and these laminates are really good because they're maintenance free they don't have too many scratches and they also look really nice now for the tv unit we've also used a white but what happens is when you use a simple white laminate the edges tend to be black and they don't really look good so instead you should consider using core laminates now core laminates are similar to normal laminates but the only difference is that the edge is the same color so for example if you're going to be using the white laminate like the one we've used for the tv unit even the edge is white so it really looks nice because having that black edge looks really cheap and sad so we have used white laminates for the tv unit we have used regular wooden finish laminates both of the greenland company for the side table and we have used grey leather for the sofa now coming to the other items this is the marble finish italian marble for the flooring and if you see the curtains was a nice polyester looking percentage of about 80% polyester and 20% cotton so this was really easy to maintain and the shears was obviously something that was white so it was very very simple and it looked really well making sure that the entire space looked great together lighting and fall ceiling so as i discussed to you earlier what we've done is for the fall ceiling we've used gypsum ceiling and we've painted it in a nice gray which was matching the wall behind the sofa so this gypsum ceiling is really good because there's a nice gi frame going inside it so it really holds the fall ceiling nice and strong and we've given you concealed panel lights inside it so these panel lights look really nice because this ring or the rim rather of the light really goes inside the ceiling almost looking seamless i literally love these lights which we use and the color of the light in this is white color also known as a 6k and these are really good to actually brighten up the entire space along with this if you see we've also used a linear profile light so back in the day if you're familiar we used to use a lot of tube lights so these are basically fancy versions of tube lights but trust me they're quite fancy because they're not as cheap as your tube lights they're about at least 4000 rupees at least for like a day a 10 feet long um light but trust me it's so worth it because they look genuinely amazing and it gives you a lot of light too and it's a lot of spread light so it makes the space look nice bright and lit Now if you see in the fall ceiling we have two colors right one is the grey which we were trying to highlight just for the sofa area and the rest was an off white color this off white color was the same paint color which we've used throughout the walls and the other parts of the walls so now what we've done is we've actually smartly used this linear profile light to divide the two sections so that it didn't look very funny at the same time really enhanced the entire space So if you really like this trick you should try it out too I'm sure it's going to turn out really nice. And right in the middle of that grey ceiling we've used in a Tomsburg smart fan. Now this is really cool because this fan is operational with the simple switch button. You can also access it with a remote and also from a phone app it's really simple and trust me these are not even that expensive and can be easily bought online. A Tomsburg company is a great company you should definitely try it out. In terms of the switch board we've used the Norris switch boards. So what we've done is we've gone with a white glass plate which was matching the wall and gray switches so that it went really well with the wall highlighter color. So the combination of white and gray switch boards from Norris was also really nice. And the last part about the lighting of this room was if you see above the TV unit we didn't want too much light to come on it because there would be a lot of glare coming onto the TV. So what we did is we added very small 3 watt wall washers just to highlight a bit of the wall so that it didn't look very bland and at the same time was not too much of highlighting because the highlight wall was behind the sofa so when you're designing your living room ensure that you highlight particularly one or two walls because if you have too many walls highlighted you don't know where to look so you shouldn't make that mistake and as for the side table one of them we mentioned was with the laminate which when you opened there was actually a drawer with storage but the second side table or which i would actually call it as a nesting table is actually made up of a marble top a white marble top and the stand was a beautiful champagne gold it looks really stunning and brought that richness to the entire space too 
the wall washers were the 3k yellow color which created a lot of ambience so the perfect combination of white light and yellow light was perfect for the space because it really brought out the entire thing so i really hope you've understood very well about the space layout the color combinations we've used and the materials we've used and of course the lighting and the fall ceiling because the last thing that i'm going to be talking about is the styling which is a very small element but it really brings up the place because you can personalize it to as much as you want with small small little detailing so for the styling what we've done is we've added some loose cushions on the sofa add a beautiful rug below that and some small artifacts and small elements in terms above the center table and the side tables and of course we've added a beautiful planter in the corner to add some positivity now in terms of these things we've actually mixed a bit of off white color with tinges of gold to actually highlight and bring that luxuriousness into the entire space that planter looks beautiful by the window and if you see even if on the rug we've got these beautiful hexagonal designs we've actually customized these rugs it's very hard to find such beautiful rugs ready made and we really wanted to beautify it with these small detailings so this small rug really helps to bind the entire furniture of the space and at the same time highlights a small element and makes it look much more special and personalized I really hope you enjoyed watching this video where I discussed about all the beautiful elements of this living room giving you a quick tour. If you have any questions or you would like to know about certain materials or anything then please comment below and ask me and I'm happy to help you. I really hope this was inspiration and you can design something beautiful for your living room too. And thank you so much for watching and of course don't forget to like, share and subscribe and of course hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next video. Thank you.